name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how do gas giants form a sphere. So let's talk about the formation of a sphere in vacuum. Um, in space we are under no gravitational uh, effects so uh, under gravity uh, nature is actually quite smart. It will form and it will try to shape itself at any mass and the most economical object. In a sense, it will try to uh, form the most stable and the most symmetrical object that will require the least amount of effort. So, and that, that object is a sphere. And that's because, for once, gravity is a central force. And um, so it's the easiest way to have a gravitationally stable configuration. So the most stable configuration is a sphere. Now, uh, gas giants, uh, they formed during the beginning of the solar system 4.5 billion years ago. Uh, and you had uh, this planetesimal. So we start with a bunch of collisions of things around a central, central mass. And this is orbiting the central mass. It went under a lot of collisions. So you have a lot of molten things, a lot of heat energy, a lot of things just smashing against each other at high speeds. And the way they're going to shape in the vacuum is going to be a sphere. It's just the most economical shape and the most symmetrical shape and the most gravitationally stable shape. And after that, what it's going to do is once it forms a planetesimal or a rocky core, it's going to keep uh, collecting the primordial gases left over in the solar nebula cloud. And eventually it's just going to adhere them. And because gravi gravity is a central force, it's going to pile up in a gravitationally spherical form. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is how do gas giants form a sphere.